So how do we predict the products of this reaction here? We have KCl, potassium chloride. It's a solid and something's happening to it. What could possibly the products be? So if we know that the type of reaction, it's probably going to be decomposition. Since we only have one thing here, it's going to have to break down into some other compounds. And you're probably going to need to put energy into this. I would guess electricity, maybe electrolysis might do this with molten KCl. You probably would end up with K plus Cl. But the thing about Cl, Cl is never going to be just Cl by itself. It'll always be Cl2. Potassium, that's okay like that there. We could put our states in. I'm guessing the potassium would be a solid since it's a metal. So put an S after that. And then chlorine, that's going to be a gas, kind of a greenish gas. This equation isn't balanced. We could balance it. We have two chlorines here and just one here. Let's put a two. It balances the chlorines. Two times one is two. We have two. Two potassiums, put a two here. Now it's a balanced equation. So that's how you predict the products for this decomposition here of potassium chloride. Because it's the single thing, we expect it would break apart. Just be careful. You won't have Cl by itself. It's always going to be Cl2. Kind of like O2, H2, N2, those diatomic gases. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.